Thank you, Twin Falls County. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Rusty. And for those of you that are envious of what Twin Falls County is doing here over the next couple of days, it could be you in 2014. Let your central committee know at the state level that you're interested in hosting the state convention in 2014. What a marvelous venue. What a wonderful place to come home to. I spent eight years in Twin Falls, so I can also say welcome to Twin Falls. Uh, it's my pleasure at this time to officially convene the 2012 Idaho Republican Party State Convention. Uh, we have a couple of pro forma things we need to go through. Uh, as the chairman of the convention, I have asked our state secretary, Marla Lawson, to serve as the convention secretary. Marla's up here with me. I've also asked our two Republican Party vice chairs, Mike Matthews and Todd Hatfield, to serve as convention vice chairs, and they will occupy the spot up here in the event that, that I, as a convention chair, uh, am not available for whatever reason. Uh, I would entertain a motion to approve the convention secretary and two convention vice chairs. There's a motion here, a second here. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Thank you. Uh, next, I'd like to appoint the Sergeant at Arms and Parliamentarian. As Sergeant at Arms, I've asked my good friend from Kimberly, Dan Shoemaker, to serve as the main Sergeant at Arms, and uh, he's informed me he's packing. So, just so you know. I've also asked to serve with him uh, 85 years young Jack Stewart, World War II veteran. Jack, where are you at? Thank you, Jack, for your service. And also a veteran of the gig, Thomas Lawford from Latah County that I've known since College Republicans days at the University of Idaho. Thomas, thank you. Uh, could I get a motion to uh, appoint Sergeant at Arms, these three gentlemen? So moved. a motion and a second here. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. And far, finally, as parliamentarians, uh, I've asked Cornell Razor from Bonner County. Cornell's over here. Uh, and also Craig Parrish right over here to serve. And uh, Jason Rich, who is our uh, general counsel of the party, will be assisting them as necessary, and there'll be a team to help advise us on any parliamentary, uh, parliamentary questions that arise, and they'll be seated up here tomorrow during the business portion of our program. Uh, so could I get a motion on Cornell and Craig? There's a motion here. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. All right, it's my uh, opportunity this time to give a, a brief chairman's report. It's been a uh, tremendously satisfying four years as chairman. I've enjoyed every minute of every day of working with each and every one of you and literally thousands of Republicans who aren't here today but that you all know uh, who have worked very hard to elect our candidates to uphold our Republican principles and advance the cause of the Republican Party. I want to thank you for the opportunity and the privilege to serve as chairman of the Idaho Republican Party. It's been a great privilege. I was elected. Thank you. I was elected on Flag Day 2008 at the state convention at Sandpoint and re elected in Idaho Falls two years later. As I was then, I'm honored and humbled by the trust placed in me as to serve as state chairman. Upon my election, I spelled out seven alternatives from the podium in Sandpoint, and those who guided our actions, and I say our actions because we are a team at the state party and throughout the state. They are number one, intensifying and improving our relationship with grassroots rank-and-file Republicans. Without a doubt, this is my proudest accomplishment. We've empowered and created a place at the table for hardworking local Republicans to join GOP leaders and our elected officials working together. By doing so, we've unleashed the full power of our party. This is our secret weapon. Raising money. We have raised in excess of $2.1 million over the last four years. We diversified 